Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Iowa Pan Fishing. Thanks for joining me. In our last episode, I shared with you the very special moments of taking my friend Mitchell and his four-year-old son Shepard out on their very first fishing trip together. My friend Mitchell had only been fishing once before in his life. That was at a family reunion and he remembers catching only one bluegill. Of course, Shepard being four years old, this was his first time ever to hold a fishing pole and to ever bring in a fish. It was a, a wonderful time. Again, I'm very grateful for the hospitality, generosity, and kindness of Jeff, the property owner, who seeing on Facebook that I wanted to do this for my friend and his son, invited us out to his property where he has an acre and a half pond, about 20 feet deep, filled with bluegill, crappie, yellow perch, and largemouth bass. And uh, it was just a wonderful, wonderful time. Well, as four-year-olds are wont to do, Shepard ran out of gas after a couple of hours. Um, and uh, But before they left, as I shared in the last video, Mitchell had asked Shepard, hey, do you want to go fishing again? And Shepard's answer was, yes, but next time I want to catch either a whale or a dolphin, but I don't think our poles are big enough. So I had driven about two and a half hours to get out to Jeff's property and uh, Mitchell and Shepard were on their way home by 10 a.m. and the fish were biting. They were big, big bluegill and I wasn't about to go home after a couple of hours. So I had the next few hours all to myself on this beautiful piece of property along the shore of this gorgeous little pond and I caught what for me up to this date is the stringer of a lifetime of bluegill. Take a look. Got him. Finally. Oh, we can't. Did he come off? Nope, he's still there. Oh. That's another biggie. That's a keeper. Finally. Went dead for a while. Not anymore. <laughs> That's probably the smallest one, and it's a monster. <laughs> Got him. Oh, this one feels good. This one feels like a good one. Another big one. Oh, <laughs> Woo. Oh. oh my goodness. Look at the size of that thing. Got him. All right. Oh, he feels good too. Come on. Come on. Ah. So I switched spots here on the pond. And as soon as I got in the water over here, I was getting bites. Are they as big on this side? That's well, certainly a keeper. Yes, siree. What I don't have, though, are my pliers. And I don't have a stick. Oh. 
Ooh, yeah. Oh, oh man, biting right away. Got him. Wow. <laughs> oh, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for an absolute wonderful place to fish and a wonderful day of fishing. Thank you, my friend. There we go. Another big one. Look at the size of these things. Look at that. That is just beautiful. Oh, what a pig. Wow, look how big and round. Let's see if I can get a good angle here. Look how big and round that fish is. Look at that. I wonder if I can get a picture. Uh-huh. Oh! Oh! Oh, this is a monster! Stay on there, stay on there. <laughs> I have never had so much fun bluegill fishing in my life. Oh, oh my goodness. And Jeff said, please take all the bluegill you want. Oh my. <laughs> oh, come here, come here. Oh, can I even get my hand around it? You know what? I think I have to. Oh, come here. Man, they're hitting so fast over here. Oh, look at the size of that thing. Look at that. Oh, oh, <laughs> as I was bringing it in. Wow. Man, you're a fighter. There we go. Look at that. My goodness. Oh, I forgot to turn on my camera. Got another one here. These are such good fighters. Oh, they're so big. <laughs> Oh. oh, another one swallowed it. Oh, look at that. Another big one. Another monster. Wow. Oh, got him. And the small one. I'd call that a keeper most days. But I'm gonna throw that one back. Well, no, he wants me to take him. He wants me to take him, so. Got him. Oh yeah, this one's better. This one's better. Well, it felt better. Uh, no, not a keeper. Not today. Not a keeper today. Wow, you're fat. Actually, you know what? Yep, we are going to keep you. We are going to keep you because he wants the bluegill out of here. There you go. Wow. Wow. I have never seen a bluegill jump out of the water like that, ever. I've never seen that. 
I have never seen a bluegill jump out of the water like that. Come here, oh, come here. Wow. Wow. What a beast. Wow. Come here. Come here. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh. No, oh, he swallowed the hook. Look at that. Look at that. I got the worm on that one because I had so much worm hanging off there. Nope. Got him. Got him. Oh, you're little. <laughs> All that work for that? All that. Oh! Hey, hey! My first ever yellow perch. Look at that. I have never caught a yellow perch in my life, ever. So it's not big, it's not a monster, but it's mine. That is a yellow perch. Oh, thank you for standing your fin up. That's a yellow perch. Maybe that's what's been biting at me over there. Huh. My first ever yellow perch. Well, before the video, I described what I caught that day as, for me, up to this point, the stringer of a lifetime of bluegill. Now, maybe for you, maybe you catch bluegill like that on a regular basis. But up to that day, the largest bluegill I had ever caught was about a half a pound. I caught several bluegill uh, along the shore of Jeff's Pond that were a pound or more. And it was, it was the best day, best day of bluegill fishing I had ever had. Now here are the box scores. Uh, I took home 17 bluegill and those 17 bluegill weighed in at over 11 pounds. I took those fish to a, a family in my church and uh, uh, the father, the head of the family, uh, he cleaned them up, filleted them and came away with more than three pounds of bluegill filet. Just an amazing, amazing day. A day I will never forget. Uh, and I will never forget the generosity, kindness, and hospitality of Jeff, uh, who is now, I believe, my friend for life. And I look forward to going back out to that spot from time to time to fish with Jeff and to maybe take uh, my granddaughter or maybe some of the kids from the church to let them hook into some of the biggest bluegill they'll ever see. It was a great, great trip, and, and I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, God bless, and friends, let's go fishing.